My name's Renee Clements. And I'm Teresa Maurer. And we are the co-chairs yes. of the um, Christmas tree lighting event for Old Town Cape. This was our fourth year of having the tree lit and installed and doing the tree lighting that takes place every Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving. I would say it's definitely an event that has grown through the years. Our vision when we had the first tree lighting in 19 was um, just to light the tree. And of course we had torrential downpours that entire day and we still had several hundred people but it would literally, people came and we had Santa come down the stairway with the elves, but it was pretty simple. And then the next year, we were fighting COVID and the health department said we could do it um, because it was an outside event. And then the last two years, it's kind of grown, morphed into what we envisioned when we first had it. And we had a little bit of everything. We actually had people calling and asking if they could be part of it, which to me was a good sign. Absolutely. So as each year we try to incorporate a new element into the actual event. Um, so each year it is evolving. We added food trucks um, two years ago, which was a huge success. And so that's been very rewarding to see the food trucks out there. And then this year we brought in some entertainment, which was so sweet. It was a local group here from Cape Girardeau, um, a mixture of kiddos and adults um, that came out and did some performance for us. And then we also bring in a local band and um, local choirs as well. So we're able to have carolers there and sing live music and the band performs, um, which is all just really kind of creating this environment that's very sweet and... And something else that we added last year were fire pits. One of our oh, corporate yes. sponsors uh, did fire pits and I think they had uh, 150 uh, packets where you just go get a packet and has your graham cracker and your s'more and everything in it. And uh, they ran out before within an hour. So they had 450 this year and I think they ended up giving out most of those. So the fire pits have really been a big hit yes. with everybody and just the smelling the smoke yes. and seeing it back there, it just kind of adds to the ambiance of what yes. we're trying to create with the tree lighting. Yes. And then the highlight of the event is definitely having Santa and Miss Claus come down that light the tree. So they've been a part of our event since the beginning. So that's been really sweet. And not only do they light the tree, but they stay around afterwards to take photos with all of the kiddos in front of the tree. So the very first year we actually, we had a, a local um, gentleman come that dressed up as Santa and then his job, so he was our Santa the first year and his um, job relocated him out of the state. So going into our second year of the tree lighting, we discussed, oh gosh, we need to find a Santa for this year. Who are we going to ask? And I go, you know what? I think that I probably can talk my husband into doing it but I don't know if he'll do it alone. What do you think if we added Miss Claus to it and him and I could do it together? And of course, Teresa was like, oh yes, we will get you a Miss Claus costume. No, and I'm like, well, I need to ask Eric. No, no, I'll, I'll order the costume. <laughs> and so I walked away from that meeting and I'm like, Eric, <laughs> I go, I just signed this up for something, but I think it's gonna be really fun. And I want you to know you're not in it alone. I'm gonna be with you. And, um, and so he, he said, okay, we'll give it a shot. We went into that first year with butterflies in our tummy. We were so nervous. And did great. there was a lot of anticipation, but it has also been very sweet because we have some local kiddos um, that are actually her grandchildren join us and they dress up as elves. So they walk down the stairs with us and having their excitement really calmed our nerves and made us more excited. And then that first step out and seeing everyone just light up, put everything at ease. And it was just a hundred percent, this is what we wanna do. This is so sweet. So we're able to walk through and say hello to the kiddos and you make eye contact with them. And 
one of the sweetest parts is it, the crowd will become pretty deep of rows. And so you get the kiddos up front, but then if you can catch somebody's eye from across the street that they're up on their dad's shoulders and you catch their eye and you give them a little wave, it's just the most incredible thing. Um, one of my favorites this year, a little girl after the tree lighting was done, and we were standing there getting photos, she walked up and she has these crocodile tears just coming down her face. And we were like, oh sis, we're so excited to see you. And um, she's crying and her mom instantly steps in and she goes, these are happy tears. She is so excited to see you guys. And so I knelt down and I go, can I give you a hug? And she just leans in. I go, do you wanna give Santa a hug? And she is still crying and she hugs Santa. And I mean, it's moments like that. You're, you, you never can experience anything else like it. So now it's become a very big tradition for my husband and I to get to be able to dress up and just experience that and be very involved with the evening. It's one of the most magical things we've ever experienced and by far the most rewarding. It's very sweet. We definitely are always evolving and always just dreaming. We're very inspired by Hallmark movies, so we're always looking to say, gosh, what are they doing and how can we bring that to Cape Girardeau? So um, it's definitely something that we're very passionate about. Each year we wanna bring continued elements to it such as you know, adding more food trucks or bringing in more entertainment, bringing in more carolers. Every year we're sitting down and we're starting reimagining and we reimagine from January. This is something we put all year into and make sure that we're just bringing the best of the best to Cape Girardeau, so. We just want the tree and the tree lighting to become a tradition. And we've often wondered how many family pictures, how many Christmas cards, how many uh, engagements. I know of a wedding, at least one wedding that has been down around the tree. So it's becoming part of the tradition of Christmas in Cape. And that's what our goal was from the very beginning. Three, two, one.